During his first week in office, Donald Trump pulled out of what was then the world's biggest trade agreement. Since January, 11 remaining Asia-Pacific countries have been trying to revive the Trans-Pacific Partnership. At the APEC summit in Vietnam, they announced a new deal and one that doesn't include the United States. Also at the summit, President Trump and Russia's Vladimir Putin shook hands during a traditional group photograph. The two leaders smiled and stood next to each other at an informal dinner. The two leaders then released a joint statement saying there can be no military solution to the Syrian conflict. Well, for more on Syria, let's go now to Ahmed al Barai. He's at the Jivigozu border crossing in southern Turkey. Ahmed, Trump and Putin say there's no military solution in Syria. How do you see this playing out in relation to the developments on the ground? Well, Kim, we're here on the border, Jivlegizu, uh, Turkish-Syrian border. Behind me is Idlib province. And the, as the two leaders said, there's going to be no military solution in Syria. But on the ground, what's happening behind me, for example, Idlib is predominantly co uh, controlled by the Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, the offshoot of Al-Qaeda terrorist organization. And there is a report coming out from the city that still there's tension between the rebel groups inside the city and also the Syrian regime as uh, many of the, of the activists are telling us from inside the city is preparing for a, an escalation maybe in the coming few days but the reports coming from uh, Vietnam and the uh, Asia uh, Pacific summit the two leaders are uh, reiterating the importance of de-escalation zones, the importance of deconflection, and the involvement of all the Syrian factions in the ongoing uh, peace process in Geneva and in Astana. Whether these uh, talks are going to hold, they still we need to wait and say in the coming few days how the development on the ground will play out. Even with all of this, Trump and Putin both say they are determined to eliminate, eliminate Daesh in Syria. What's the latest more generally? Well, Kim, recently uh, the Syrian regime, separate from the SDF, the U.S.-backed forces, uh, the Syrian Democratic Forces, the YPG, uh, Kurdish militias, they both uh, defeated ISIS in their stronghold de facto capital in Raqqa and then in al bukamal al bukamal is the city that is on the border with Iraq where we uh, know that uh, many of the leaders who used to be in Raqqa, they moved to al Bukamal on uh, the border, but the uh, popular mobilization forces, al hashd al-Shabi, is coming, is pushing from uh, Al-Qa'im city in Iraq, while the Syrian regime is pushing from here, in, uh, from Syria, and they were defeated in Al-Bukamal, but recently uh, they, they've uh, retaken like almost 50% of al Bukamal, is still the fighting is continuing there. The uh, Hezbollah, the Iranian uh, proxy in Syria, is still the spearhead of the operation, and the fight it continues. Now, the coalition says they will go on with the uh, coordination between all the factions on the ground, whether the Syrian regime, backed by the Russians, or the uh, SDF, by, uh, by the American Air Forces. They're going to defeat Daesh, and and then they're going to have the, the Geneva Conventions or the, uh, the Asitana talks in order to find political solution, a transitional period to the uh, Syrian problem to solve it, whether Assad will stay, early election will happen. All these things are going to be discussed in the coming uh, meetings that the, both uh, leaders are trying to uh, convene all the factions, the Syrian factions, to find a solution to what's going on. Thank you so much. That's TRT World's editor-at-large, Ahmed Albarai.